everybody, it's Chris. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I'm sending you much love from my heart to yours. And I want to talk to those people out there today who are living a very spiritually intentional life. They are seeking ways to be of a higher vibration and to saturate their bodies and their lives with more light. As we do this, and we've talked about this before, we start to experience symptoms of this enlightenment or this ascension process. Things begin to shift around us in the form of relationships and conditions, but also within us in the form of our health and our sensitivities. And I want to speak to that because I am the poster person for a change in the body and having to listen to spirit to try and figure out why this change is happening and then to make the appropriate modifications. When I first started really being intentional about my spiritual work and leaning into the process of spiritual communication, working with my guides, listening to source energy, being of service to other people, I noticed that I could no longer tolerate many, many things. And it started kind of slowly actually because I used to be and I still am. I'm, was, I'm a very sensual person. I'm not talking sexually. I just love to feel. Do you know what I mean? I love to feel the world. I love to feel the energy. I love food. I love drinks. I love parties. I love all of it because that's life and life is beautiful. And I'm somebody who truly loves to experience life on that level. And so I drank. And so I ate steaks. And so I went out and I partied and I, I didn't sleep well. I, mean, I did all those things that sometimes we do when we're truly trying to slip into the fullness and the sweetness of life. But when I started to do the work, when I started to commit to the path of the light worker, spirit said, mm -mm, you can't be drinking like that anymore. And I said, oh, come on, spirit, for sure. I can totally drink like this. I can still do this and have that at the same time. And spirit said, oh, okay, try it then. And so I would have back then I would, and I still do, I love a martini. Like every now I will still have it. But back then I loved Cosmopolitans and I had my own little shaker and I'd make one every night at like six o'clock and it was so I was so excited about it and I would start do I was continue to do it and I would get really terribly ill never had been ill before had a very strong constitution in terms of all that but I would get really sick but I would persevere <laughs> I was like surely I'm not getting sick because spirit said it was bad or anything. And I'm not getting sick because of the, the cosmopolitan, which is so awesome. I would continue to drink it and I would get more sick and I would develop hives. And so finally, at some point I said, okay, spirit, fine. I'll give up. I'll give up the cosmopolitans and having them all the time. Like I, I, every now and again or whatever, but I'll give it up fine. But then I said, but wine's okay, right? I can drink wine can I have a glass of wine I mean what's wrong with that medicinal properties and all spirit right the spirit said mm, probably not the right energetic match and fit for you and the quality of work that you want to be doing and I said no surely being a sensual person on this world I can have a glass of wine it's beautiful it's poetic I'm gonna have wine so I drank the wine because you know I'm a bonehead and this is how we learn sometimes we just have to put ourselves through it and then figure it out for ourselves and I had the wine and guess what yep I got real sick and the process continued and I eventually had to phase that out and or moderate that completely. I mean, I still have cocktails, don't get me wrong, but I really had to change how I was doing that part of my life. In addition to that, food became such an issue because, again, I was eating steak and I was going out and I was having all kinds of bread and pasta and processed foods or whatever. I didn't have a sensibility about that. But Spirit said, no, you have to really start thinking about the vibration of the food that you're putting into your mouth ball. <laughs> you have to think about the quality of the nourishment and the density and the richness of this food. And I said, well, come on, surely steak is okay. Steak is awesome. It tastes so great. And I would continue to eat meat. And pretty soon I got very sick. And then, you know, I started getting a little smarter about it. I'm like, okay, well, if spirit's telling me this, it must be for a reason. And so as spirit would present me mildly with sensitivities or with instruction about what I might like to phase out, I started to listen and say yes and trust the process. And there was this point, you know, into my work where I found myself having access to nothing. And I got kind of mad at spirit, actually. I'm like, wait a minute. What about the quality of my life? I'm eating nothing but plant foods. I'm drinking nothing but water with lemon, and I'm, I'm, I'm a vegan, apparently, and I'm, I'm eating raw, and this is all I'm doing, and I trusted it anyway. And because of the vibratory signature of the food and the drink and the conditions that I had to choose, my life was actually filled with light and with purpose, and I said, oh, 
wow, that really feels better, doesn't it, than going out and partying or drinking that cosmopolitan or having all these things that I used to so enjoy. It really feels better to be saturated with light and to be able to hold that light and run that ascended energy. And our physical bodies need to be of a specific constitution and disposition in order to be an energetic match to run higher energy. And so if you're like me and you are committed deeply to being of service to other people, to being in connection dynamically with source energy and to be in communication with spirit and angels and guides and looking for that guidance. If that's you too, listen to what spirit is telling you about what you need to start eliminating from your life and what you need to start adding in to your life. Because the more you partner with spirit's suggestions in this regard, the more dynamic a spiritual practitioner you'll be and the happier you'll be in your life. And I get it. You might think, well, really, I have to give up all that? I can't be happy. You will be happy because spirit will make sure that you're happy. So trust spirit, trust the process, and take all the suggestions because you will be happy. Mm -hmm.